A Ugandan entrepreneur, Matthias Magola, is building a pharmaceutical factory in Uganda that's built to be the largest of its kind in sub-Saharan Africa. The Biological Drugs and Vaccine Manufacturing Facility is under construction at Matuga in Wakiso District, where the foundation stone was laid by President Yuri Museveni in July 2021. So therefore, the pharmaceutical companies were in the right place here. History again is being made in our continent that a huge investment like this ordinarily could be funded or financed by the World Bank or IMF, or IFC, and other major financial institutions. But we are very proud that our own East African institution, the equity bank, led the way. Registered as Day Biopharma, the company prides itself for the giant leap it hopes to make to realize its tagline, making Africa self-sufficient in health care. We import more than 80, 85% of drugs in Africa. We are coming up to close that gap. Close that gap, but working in collaboration with US companies, with European companies, we are setting up an FDA approved facility for the first time in Africa. EMA approved facility, what is EMA? EMA is European Medicine Agency and WHO standard facility in Africa. So it is this that we are able to acquire technology to manufacture more than 3,000 formulations. So for us, what we are trying to do is to make Africa safe reliant in terms of making drugs that they need for their people because we have the technology, which is the hardest. We've been licensed by Uganda Investment Authority as a $500 million project. Day Biopharma will be manufacturing generic drugs under license from reputable pharmaceutical companies across the world. The company will also carry out research for development of formulations of medicine for treatment of tropical diseases. Antimycinin is where we get two derivatives, antimethyl and antisunate. And these are the current drugs that the world is using to treat malaria. The question is, they have also, in many countries, devoted resistance. Where is the world going? That's why when we come up and get this new compound, this for malaria and that kind of thing, we believe we are saving Africa. We believe we are saving the world. And we want to continue doing the same for even other diseases. The plants, located on 100 acres of land to the north of Kampala in Wakiso district, is financed by Equity Group Holdings PLC to a tune of 70 million US dollars. Magola's idea of coming up with homegrown medical solutions for the tropics dates back to his undergraduate studies at Makere University, where several bouts of malaria prompted him to begin finding a lasting solution. And you will find that malaria was hitting me when the community and the kidneys training and fancy that. You know, that combination during that time was so to kiss when you get it you take another one week without going to school because of the side effects of being so i was introducing to a very old man who was selling a certain herbal medicine uh, at natural chemical therapeutics ministry of health when you take this medicine there are no side effects but malaria will go within a period of just three days this man i would say was a savior to me I never been so malaria put in me down. The director of research at the National Chemotherapeutics Research Institute, Dr. Grace Nambatia, is glad to see her former students spearheading growth and development of the pharmaceutical industry at home. Matthias Magola, knowing he was my student in chemistry, Makere University, over 10 years back, he has always been uh, one who is 
really very interested in use of natural products. There is a product he used and it's cured malaria. What he's trying to do is very innovative because many people just get into trying to do what he's trying to do without thinking of the need to ensure you have the raw material. So getting the farmers together is one good step. As we focus on the pathogen economy and knowing the, the tropics, we are reaching those pathogens. So cashing in on that economy is very, very timely. To realize the goal of establishing a multi-pharmaceutical industry for Western medicine and development of formulations from herbal medicines, Magola assembled a team of experts drawn from across the world. I have built approximately 22, 23 facilities in my 38-year careers with Abbott Laboratories, which is headquartered in Chicago. I have built plant in Vietnam, I have built plant in China, I have built plant in India, Pakistan, Indonesia, and also some of the expansion in European Union countries. Right now we are building capacity equivalent to five years, but we have left space for expansion to each department. So you can double the capacity whenever you want. You can go triple. Clean room means a, a, a room that uh, the pharmaceutical products are produced uh, minimizing any kind of possible contamination. Good quality product or the good quality manufacturing practices that uh, what you say, what you, what you should do. And then doing it again and again and again and again. Because doing it one time is not really important. What is important is that consistently doing and repeating the same results. Eh, eh, diciamo che eh, io credo che il, la decisione strategica di, eh, bio, dei biofarma è quella di avere un ambiente eh, di produzione internazionale. Di conseguenza deve basarsi su una normativa di riferimento internazionale che è certamente la GMP okay? europea, ISO GMP. Magola ha richiesto e quindi noi daremo questo tipo di certificazione sui prodotti che abbiamo fornito all'Italia. Our plan is to be able to create 40,000 high paying jobs making all the essential drugs that the government needs or that Africa needs. It's not a joke, it's a lot of work. But for us, we have the starting point which is the most difficult. We have the formulations. We have patented technology as well. Our capabilities now is to make sure that we set up all the sections that will give people the drugs. Two, we are open to contract manufacturing. For example, the big pharmaceutical companies, we are giving them the opportunity to come and make in our facility which meets the same international standard like where they are manufactured their products. Even as the construction of the mega factory goes on, where a delegation from the World Health Organization toured the factory on a fact-finding mission in Uganda. I'm overwhelmed by so many things, surprise, joy, that this is happening in Africa, you know, and stuff like that. You know, things to take away from here, I need to tell stories when I get home because I have not seen this type before in Africa. He has company, he has a minister who is very ambitious. And I don't accept limitations. I think that we can overcome a lot of the limitations that we have let people impose on us or we have imposed on ourselves. We need a lot of courage. We need to face, uh, sometimes call a spade a spade, and we needed to confront those limitations which have come. The cost of a dose is $700. How many African countries can afford to buy a dose that costs $700 to treat COVID-19? How many African governments can afford to pay for these drugs? We have to wait for the nation. Magola is focused on the downstream source market of the herbal medicine material to be utilized by the company. To ensure that supplies are not interrupted, Day Biopharma is contracting more than 2,000 farmers in Chigezi region. 
Already, the farmers are producing a crop called Antimesia, which is used to manufacture anti-malarial medicine. With the farmers in cover, when I extract antimicin, when I extract barbarin, when I extract antimethyl, when I extract antisunate, I'm not going to use all of it. Baby from two companies will be coming here to buy, to take the rest that I export. The subscription of the farmers has kicked off in Kabale district, where farmers have formed groups to pull their harvest for collection and transportation to the factory located 550 kilometers away in Kampala. Some of them have grown antimesia, but markets have been inaccessible due to distance and overproduction. <laughs> district <laughs> Antimesia is a woody shrub that grows above two meters high. The leafy parts are paired off the woody stem and dried. Derek Mugisha grows a variety imported from China as well as another from Europe. As a crop, we have been growing sorghum, growing beans, and uh, and the sweet potatoes and the Irish potatoes. But when you, you compare those crops to this, to this, uh, to this I mean this is Antimisia. This one, is, the price is higher than, than the other crops. It has helped me to build the house. I've bought some cows. Uh, my house I've put in uh, electricity. I've bought some TV, We're buying land. Uh, through antimisia. Me at times I use 20 workers to make it ready for sale every day. I, I pay them weekly on Saturdays. If I could get a chance of, of being given a loan, I may plant 10 acres, 10 acres or more, because people from Mumbai, from Kenya at times, they come looking for it and they fail to get it. They find when we have already sold it. Before I started planting antimelia, I used to plant some beans, some maize, and sweet potatoes. But when you compare the prices of those other crops with antimelia, antimelia is somehow better. Day Biopharma has the necessary goodwill from the government and financial access to operate and reach markets beyond Eastern Africa. One of the best gifts, Uganda born is a scientist in the name of Mr. Magore Mathias, can give to his fellow countrymen because when you look at the profit of this industry, it is meant to be doing research on local uh, or indigenous plants or materials from which we can get some drugs to treat human beings. But when you look at its size again and the way it's being built, it is meant to be providing employment opportunities very many Ugandan young scientists. Africa, especially in the pharmaceutical industry, our riches are in our natural therapeutics. Actually, around us in Uganda, 
in many in across Africa. We have all the medicines that we need, but we've not developed this. So the work of Matthias actually complements the work of the ministry, which we are doing. And uh, uh, we are going to work out an MOU where we support the basic parts of it so that he picks out more the applied uh, because that makes commercial things. The partnership between Equity and their Biopharma is acknowledged as a homegrown initiative for Africa's medical problems that's worth emulating. <laughs> <laughs>